And South Korea saw a rise in employment in May for a third month in a row, an increase of more than 600,000 from a year earlier. That was in thanks to rising exports and a pickup in consumer spending. Kim Jae-hee has this report. The number of people employed in South Korea rose on year for the third consecutive month in May, signaling that the job market is recovering from the pandemic. According to Statistics Korea on Wednesday, over 27.5 million people were employed last month, up roughly 619,000 on year. The number of jobs has been rising since March, after 12 straight months of decline from March 2020 to February 2021. In May, the employment rate for those 15 and older grew one percentage point to 61.2 percent, and unemployment rate fell half a percentage point to 4 percent. South Korea reported job growth for the third consecutive month in May, with few people unemployed or economically inactive. This was thanks to robust exports, rising consumption, steady social distancing measures, and partly due to the base effect. All age brackets, except for people in their 30s and 40s, saw on-year job growth. The social welfare sector, construction industry and the manufacturing sector added jobs, but wholesale and retail sectors continued to report job losses. But experts note that more needs to be done for the country to see a full recovery. It's too early to say that employment has fully recovered. Most of the jobs gains were short-term or temporary positions, and there are no signs of a rise in employment among those in their 40s, the main working age group. More effort is needed to contain the spread of COVID-19 infections through vaccine rollouts in order to further ease sluggishness in the face-to-face -face service sector. Finance Minister Hong Nam-gi said on Wednesday that the country has recouped over 80 percent of the positions lost due to the pandemic and vowed to draft up more support measures in the government's economic policy direction for the second half set to be announced later this month. Kim Jae-hee, Arirang News.